Hey, we're going to show you our updated school routines. Check, Check it out. out. and Salsa, two homeschool moms, bringing you fun, practical, and encouraging tips. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. So if you haven't watched our previous video where we speak about our entire day's block schedule, check it out so that this will make more sense. But right now we are zooming into our school block schedule. Yes! Zooming into the school block and showing you our routine and flow for our school day. This is something that definitely has to be revamped from year to year because we are dealing with different age ranges and different age groups. And this year, we have majority middle schoolers. Yes. Well, you have half and half, but I have three middle schoolers, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. And Carlo and Angela are both in fifth grade. Yeah. So they're right there and they're able to do a lot more independent work and it's been really great. So for our school block, we actually do our Bible and our prayer time as a family before breakfast. And then, I mean, the kids are actually getting on board with a quick breakfast. Nice. And then so they can jump into the day and have a bigger lunch later. Ooh. So I'm excited to see how that works itself out. Because for a while there, they were making these Same really long hefty time. long breakfasts and. Yeah. Um, it should be too much. So now, if we could get a quick breakfast, they can start their math early. And I told them if they start math early, then they can go right on to their language arts, which is mostly independent. So they do math for about an hour, um, at least one lesson per day. And then they move on to history because we do history as a group. And in between math and history, depending on what the day it is, I want them to also, I'll do a dictation and have them do their copy work. And if that's the time where I give them their instructions for the day and I check their worksheets or assignments that they had from the day before, if there was any. And then after history, I'm having the kids do their science together oh, nice. without me. So Ooh. I'm kind of at earshot, you know, to correct anything and give them terminology. But I haven't been doing science with them, and that's been really awesome. I've been doing prep work on dinner during that time. Nice. I've been folding clothes, doing my nails, you know, little mindless activities around the house that I can do. Nice. And I'm trying it out, and it's working really good. So how are they doing science together? Do they read? Yeah, so they're taking turns on who's the reader, and then they're doing the worksheet kind of as a collab. Nice. Yeah. I like that. So it's working out so far, and then they can go into their language arts, which is mostly independent. And like I said, I like check their work and stuff like that the next day. Wow. And then for lunch, we've been having our lunch time with some educational videos. videos. Yes. And after that, we'll sit down on the couch and do our reader together. Later, there's some time for homework and for doing their independent reading as well. That sounds awesome. Yeah, it's been working out. I like that. Yeah, we, um, you know, I had been trying to do the same schedule that we did two years ago where it worked beautifully, mm -hmm. but it just, it just hasn't worked out for us. So I've been, honestly, all of last year I felt uh, like we didn't have a proper mm -hmm. schedule. We were just kind of all over the place. And because nothing was working, both of my kids were very emotional about different things. And so they're very opinionated. So I was like, I, nothing's working for either of them. So, but we made it. But this year, I feel like we're back into like just being synced up and they're yeah. both agreeing on what they like and don't like, which is nice. So that's good. <laughs> So during our prep block, we also do, that's when we pray and we read our Bible. We're doing the Bible in one year right now. And we used to do breakfast then, and we still do sometimes if they're hungry, and we'll all just do it together. And so that mm -hmm. way I can move things along quicker. But lately we've been actually pushing breakfast later. Yes. Because I'm trying to regulate their blood sugar. Yeah. So we've actually, we're having brunch. And, and I usually prepare that while they're doing math, and that way, mm -hmm. you know, it's just easier. But it, that varies. Yeah, and that's yeah. something we just couldn't do when they were younger. Right. But now, you know, yes. we can get through that breakfast time right. quicker. Yeah. So we also start, we do start with Bible study in school because 
Bible reading and Bible study for us is something different. So they're mm -hmm. actually doing the inductive method. We do the workbooks. And so they do that in the morning independently. Sometimes I'll sit with them and do it while I'm like cleaning the kitchen. And then what we've been doing has that has been working really great is we were starting with our read alouds. Mm. And I didn't want to do that at first, but my both of my kids were asking for it. So I was like, okay, well why not, you know? Yeah. So we're on the couch and we're doing read alouds and they're getting into it. And then I figured, well why don't we just read everything for the day? So why don't we read history together? And why don't we read science together? Um, that varies. Science sometimes they do independently as well. And sometimes we read it together. It just depends on the day. And then after that, they do math, and then we'll eat brunch um, while they watch some educational videos. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we'll sneak English in there right after math if yeah. they're not like starving. <laughs> and then, um, and then we'll yeah we'll watch the educational videos. And then in the afternoon, they'll work independently with science and history and fill out their worksheets. And mm -hmm. you know they'll take turns borrowing the books and stuff. So. Oh, okay. So yeah. language arts is after math or at that end time? Yeah. Awesome. After math or after brunch, depending on how hungry they are or how late we started. So, yeah. Yeah. That's great. We're keeping it really flexible this year and, and I'm trying to get them to be a little bit more responsible for their work. And I'm actually mm -hmm. trying, I'm thinking of a way to just have a checklist for them mm -hmm. where they do start taking ownership and, you know, like for the week. Yes. If they want to get extra I've work I've been done. thinking the same thing, actually. I made them a checklist, you know, just like on a piece of paper, like a half sheet, and it just worked okay. Mm -hmm. I, I, I do want to tweak that and kind of work, because I really want them to get four math lessons done a week. Right. Um, I really want them to, you know, work on their paper multiple times instead of just cram it all in. Right. You know, so different things, like, and keeping track of their reading. So I'm tweaking that as well. And I think giving them a checklist gives them the flexibility also to say, I don't feel like doing history right now. I want to do science, you know, and yeah. so that where they can, because sometimes that's how my son works the best is where he's like, can, mm -hmm. I, can I work on this? You know, if he gets really excited on this one assignment. Right. And I'm like, well, why am I, if he's excited about it, why am I going to tell him no, you know, we're doing yeah. science. And sometimes I can get like that. So I think giving them that checklist will give them more of, more choice. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> so stay tuned for our updated, updated <laughs> schedule. <laughs> that might change in two weeks. Right? Well, and stay tuned for how we book shark because really, I feel like book shark is really allowing me to uh, just do a little at a time but mm. still make great progress. Yeah. And so, um, and still have rich learning too. Yes. It's really cool. So we're going to be doing a video coming up about how we book shark. So make sure you look for that as well. Yeah. We hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like it, give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comments, what does your schedule look like? What do you guys like doing first? Math, yeah. language arts, how does it work with you? We'd love to hear your comments. Yeah. And share this video with your friends. We'll see you next time. Bye.